Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything that I have in my summer homeschool cart and also everything that I have in my library uh, basket right here. So let's go ahead and get on into today's video. So you guys, um, I have really been enjoying our summer. I have been really enjoying like these laid back, slower homeschool days because we really haven't uh, completely like stopped learning in my household. So um, it has been so much fun. I uh, still doing some type of fun morning cart work and then also to still enjoying the summertime out in the water, just doing all the things. So you guys like, let's go ahead and get on into today's video while I share with you all the fun stuff that we have in our homeschool cart. Uh, so we still are having fun. However, we still have a little teeny bit of structure to our uh, homeschooling days. So um, I'm gonna show you guys the books that I checked out from the library for my kiddos. So the first one that I have right here is Emmy's Gift. And this one right here goes along with my preschooler gentle and classical preschool. I have the umbrella which is another one that goes along with their gentle and classical preschool. I have Eyes That Kiss in the Corner, which was a recommendation from Tori. You guys, this book has been so much fun to read. My daughter asked me to renew this one, so we renewed it so we can read it a few more times, but I think I'm gonna have to purchase this one because it's such a great read. I have Mother Goose Goes to India. I have The Year We Learned to Fly. This one was another great one that my daughter made me renew. Uh, especially if you have like siblings, this will be a great one to read to your kiddos. Great read. I have Sue Lay, which was another great read my daughter made me renew from the library. Uh, if you uh, want to read any books about uh, just being happy to be in the skin that you are in, this is the perfect book to read to your kiddos. It was beautiful, beautiful message. I love this one right here. I have a little red rhyming hood for my toddlers. I also have Mary Had a Little Lab. I have Fancy Nancy, and I also have Mary Had a Little Glam. Now, as far as Brielle, one of the books she checked out from the library for her like independent read was Amala Unbound. And she also picked up A Soft Place. And I'm gonna put a picture right here. She actually has that book right now with her. She is at my sister's house uh, having fun with her cousin. So um, yeah, I'm happy she wanted to go ahead and take one of her uh, books with her. So these are like all of our library books that I keep in like our library basket now because I had to move all of my other stuff to our like homeschool cart. So this right here is like our, uh, this was our morning cart when we were like in the regular part of our homeschool year. So for the most part, most of the stuff that's on here was the stuff that I did on Bible time. However, I shifted and arranged some things. So uh, let's go ahead and start from the bottom. So the first thing I have down here at the bottom is my toddler's like musical instruments and things like that, that we use in the morning when we are doing like our Bible time and singing like all of our songs. I have a puzzle down here for Leia, which is head to toe. And she really, really enjoys this puzzle because what she has to do is she has to figure out which three pieces of the puzzle goes together of the animal. And she really, really enjoys doing this one. I also have Candyland down here at the bottom because my husband recently taught Leia, my four-year-old, how to play Candyland. So uh, it's been so much fun seeing her become introduced to like a board game. So I have this down here at the bottom so it can just remind me to play this one with her as well. And then the last thing I have at the bottom of the cart for my younger ones just to grab is this Melissa and Doug like geo puzzle. You guys, they absolutely love doing this. Sometimes they fight over this thing, so I have to hide it. But this is so great for them to do like those beginner like logic puzzle type of thinking skills. And this right here was a birthday gift that we got Leia for her four year old birthday. So yeah, she definitely loves this and she does kind of share it with her younger sister, Alana. So that is like all the stuff I have at the bottom of my cart. 
Now you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the file folders. I'll go ahead and start off with my toddlers. And this right here is their file folder that I keep like all of their uh, curriculum. I really have been like working heavily with my toddlers because since Brielle is not like doing any official formal stuff other than like math, um, I really have been shifting my focus on my younger toddlers so they can, you know, really soak up all of uh, that extra attention that I feel like I wasn't able to give them during a the school year. So we primarily have been doing a gentle and classical preschool and I really, really have been enjoying this one. Uh, right now, you guys, we are actually on the letter I. And I think we're probably gonna be finished this week pretty, pretty soon um, because Leia almost has all of like the memory work in this one right here or in this unit mastered. So our main picture book right here is Emmy's Gift, which I checked out from the library and we have read this a few times already. And uh, right here, it has like all of the character cards, the nursery rhymes, and it has her math, which is the preschool math at home that she does with this curriculum. So um, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Guys, like all of the memory cards that goes along with the gentle and classical preschool so the main cards that she's doing right now is like her memory verse which is so cute because she just said it like incomplete along with like where it's from for the first time the other day we're working on what country she lives in this right here is her uh, manners and hygiene card, which is I share with others, which is something we definitely need to work on. This is her nursery rhyme for this unit right now. And these are her uh, catechism right here and then her uh, math review. So these are like all of her memory statement cards that she does along with the gentle and classical preschool. And um, the last thing that I have in here on this bucket, this basket I should go ahead and show you guys, is like her little manipulatives that I use for a preschool math at home when I need them. And these are just like little Lincoln blocks that she can use. And then I also have like her, um, her little teeny alphabet flip book that we go over like her letters and letter sounds with this. So, oh, what's the last thing in here? Okay, so this is the last thing that's in here too. This doesn't go along with a gentle and classical preschool, but Leia, she just wrapped up speech therapy. It doesn't start back until August. So um, in order for me to continue to work on those like speech type of skills, I do have her verb flashcards that her speech therapist recommended. And pretty much we just go over the different verbs. So this right here has a, a lady or a girl brushing her hair. So I will go over the verb brushing. So uh, this is just simple ways for me to continue to work on those like uh, verb practice skills with her. So uh, yeah, these are her speech flashcards as well. So you guys, that is like the main things that I have really been working on with like Leia. Alana, my two year old, it's so cute how she actually has been joining in a lot with like the memory work as well. Um, so yeah, so that is a gentle and classical preschool. Now I do have like the main books that we use with the Gentle and Classical Preschool too, which is the Big Truths for Little Kids. Oh, sorry, that was the music instruments I just dropped. <laughs> I also have the Bible storybook that we read. This right here is the main book that we use, which is called Big Truths for Little People for her letter of the week. And the letter we've been working on is I. And this book is so cute the way it's set up. So it says, I is for illness, which may keep you in bed, but soon you're full fine and are playing instead. And then it has like a little memory verse down here. It says, I was sick and you visited me, Matthew 25 verse 36. I really love the questions that they have right here too as well, because it really makes sure that your kiddos comprehended what you read and you get to do like a little search and find with the questions that they ask. So this right here is such a great interactive like Bible book that we do in the morning. The last thing that we do as well is the poem that goes along with the Gentle and Classical Preschool. And you guys, this little poetry book is so cute, these little poems. And it's so crazy how she has like her memory statement cards, her Bible story, and like a poem. So it's really a robust curriculum and I really have been enjoying doing this one with the kiddos. This poetry book is called The Llama Who Had No Pajamas and I really have been loving this one. The last thing that I have for my toddlers 
is their nursery rhyme book. Uh, we use this one to go along again with a Gentle Classical Preschool for them learning their nursery rhymes. I also have what your preschooler needs to know if I don't have the nursery rhyme like inside of this book. I utilize this book along with that as even for like read alouds as far as for them. You guys, it's like so many things and nuggets within this gen within this what your preschooler needs to know that you kind of forget to teach your kiddos like patty cake, patty cake and you know, little songs and different things like that. So I really have been enjoying using this one as well with the kiddos. So the last couple of things that I have in their file folder is these cute big handwriting notebooks. You guys, when they see Brielle, my oldest one doing like handwriting, they want to do it. And as you can see, like they are not like doing anything big and <laughs> grand just yet, but these little handwriting books are so cute. I even had to get one, you guys, for my two year old. And like, look, this is her little, <laughs> her little scribbles just because it's so crazy how when they see their older sibling doing something, they want to do it too. So I'm so happy I found these cheapy uh, books off of Amazon they were five dollars so the last thing that I have in their file fold is these um, Melissa and Doug scissor skills I really have been working with Leia with like cutting and um, she's been getting really really good with cutting so I know that that's not something she has to master until like going into uh, the end of this year so this is just a skill we are going to be working on for her pre-k year so the scissor skills has been so much fun to do now the last couple of things I have on this cart for my preschoolers is the preschool morning binder that goes along with a gentle and classical preschool. We talk about the weather, we talk about the season, how it feels outside. Um, right here is the days of the week and it is the month of the year. This is the letter I that we are working on this week so my daughter can use like either her Lincoln cubes that we have right here to like build the letter I or we can use like blocks or Play-Doh. She also has the opportunity to like find the letter I right here and trace it. The color of the week again like you've seen on her memory statement cards is purple. And then the last thing that I have on this binder is, where is it at? Here it goes. <laughs> the last thing I have on like this makeshift like morning binder is her name. I really have been like working with Leia with uh, starting to form her letters for her name. That is something I really want her to master by the end of this year. And so far she's been doing good like tracing over this little uh, template. I uh, created this template uh, completely free from totschooling.net. So uh, she's been enjoying using like dry erase markers doing her preschool morning binder and the last couple of things I have is just stuff for fun she really has been enjoying these like huge Melissa and Doug like activity pads um, I think I showed these to you guys before but she gets an opportunity to color and she gets to use like all of these stickers and she really really enjoys these now all of this stuff that I'm showing you guys she doesn't do every single day uh, but it kind of flows together and the gentle and classical preschool has like a really nice schedule schedule uh, that you do for that whole week. So um, that right here is pretty much everything for Leia. I have one new thing for her because Leia actually has mastered all of like her letter sounds and she's able to recognize all of her letters right now. So I went ahead and I picked up this elementary phonics book from JDA. Um, I seen this book on Gina's Instagram page and I messaged her, we were talking, Gina, you watching this, hey girl. <laughs> but uh, she actually recently bought this one right here for her kiddo and I went ahead and I went on Teachers Pay Teachers and I downloaded this uh, beginner phonics. And pretty much all she is doing again is working on those letter sounds and she's beginning to do like two letter blends like ba, be, big, ba, ba. So those are just like the cute, um, those are not the cute, those are just like the simple blends that she's going to start working on because again, she has mastered it. And I don't expect us to get through this book, but I know she's ready to do this and begin those like uh, beginner blending types of things. So I went ahead and I picked this one up. For her phonics practice, we typically only do it about two days a week right now because again, she's only four, so yeah. Now you guys, let's go ahead and get on into Brie Brie stuff. So Brie has a simple cart right here and the only thing I have in Brielle's is my solutions manual for Saxon Math. We have been doing Saxon Math throughout the summer. I have not give, given her a break when it comes to math. We had like maybe a 
three week break after the end of our like school year and then we went ahead and picked this baby back up because I really don't want her to forget anything my daughter she tends to forget when it comes to math so this is my solutions manual she does her Nicole the math lady early early in the morning and um, she actually doesn't mind doing math because again this is something quick and easy she can get done uh, something else that is in Brielle's little file folder is her cursive handwriting. She didn't complete this one from the school year, so she's just working on some handwriting. Again, all the girls, they like to sit at the table and do their handwriting together. I also have this new school nest notebook. It's a vocabulary notebook for Brielle to work on. We actually did um, standardized testing this year and one of the areas that we need to improve on is vocabulary. So I wanted to find a creative and innovative way to do it other than just giving her a workbook, especially for the summer. So I've been utilizing this school nest notebook where she has to use her uh, flashcards. And these flashcards are the vocabulary cards from uh, Sullivan Learning. This is the fifth grade and what she does is she just takes one of her flashcards and she goes over each part on this uh, binder where she has to do the definition, she has to write the word her own words, she gets to draw the word, she gets to create her own sentence and she does her copy work which is the copy work she uses from this right here definition. She does her synonyms, antonyms and this has really been a great way for us to do vocabulary. I really have been noticing her. She's been retaining vocabulary a lot better by just really focusing on one word uh, she typically does like maybe three to four words a week it just depends on the difficulty of the word and her remembering it so we just been really taking our time when it comes to uh, vocabulary uh, the last thing that Brielle really has been doing has been her creative writing I have her creative writing journal right here but Brielle really loves to like type up all of like her creative writing stories I'm not gonna lie you guys like Brielle really has been thriving with this laid back like summer school approach really because um, she doesn't have like any other official structure so she's really been like doing great uh, finding things to do something else that Brielle has been enjoying is she told me she wanted to learn watercolor so I went to five and below and I picked her up some more like watercolor paper I picked her up some new paint brushes and a new watercolor palette so she can learn watercolor she really has been like on YouTube you guys uh, looking up stuff for on like art hub and a draw so cute and she's really been like enjoying her summer and it's so crazy like I thought I was going to have to like find little things for her to do but she's really finding things on her own to do so uh, yeah so Brielle she's gonna be working on some watercolors as well now as far as Bible for Brielle I keep things really really simple because uh, as you guys can see I am working a lot with my younger ones but I still want to carve out that special time for her so for Bible we still have been using our September and Co cards and you guys I really have been loving these character cards I have all three of them I just keep them in this little pouch right here we also do her three minute devotion for girls she really has been enjoying this one as well these are just short simple devotions and they are really age appropriate and they're geared directly to her We've been reading together, Me and My Feelings, and this has been a great book and a great outlet to show my daughter how to deal with those different big emotions and big feelings and really how to express how she feels so she can communicate them effectively to others. And I really have been enjoying this book right here. Again, this was um, one on Tori's channel. She showed this when I think she did a mental health unit with her kiddos a while ago, and I've been eyeing this book. So I purchased it, and. In about April and we really just started to really dive in deep into this book and it's really been a great outlet if you have a 10 year old girl you already know what the deal is so it's really really been effective and I'm so happy I started reading this one with her the last thing I have in here is our 101 favorite Bible stories this actually goes along with the master books curriculum we did in our first year of homeschooling and you guys I have not been able to put this uh, book down because it's just a such great way for you to like go over the Bible stories with the kids kiddos has a memory verse and it has some of the questions you ask the kiddos about the story and I really really enjoy using this for like our morning Bible time as well so that is like all that is in Brielle's basket and the last thing that I do with Brielle is she loves this sing a song of seasons poetry book so we still been reading like our poetry in the morning as well 
So everything you guys that I showed you that's on like this summer homeschool cart, this really only takes us like an hour and a half, including like all the stuff for the kiddos. Uh, they really have been just enjoying this cart and I'm so happy like I put it together for them. So you guys, I really hope you enjoy seeing like all this stuff that I have on my homeschool summer uh, or my summer homeschool cart. Uh, now that I end the video, I have to <laughs> put everything back up on here. But um, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you all are enjoying enjoying your summer, you're having fun. Uh, mamas out there, homeschooling mamas, I hope you are recharging and taking care of yourself this summer, gearing up for um, the upcoming school year. So as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.